Throw, 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 throw it up. <laughs> Start twerking like Miley. Subscribe, press the bell icon on YouTube app and never miss another updates. We may be living in the age of information, and the internet has almost everything at our fingertips, but sometimes finding the answers to our most burning questions can be harder than a simple Google search would first seem. We have trawled through the internet and found the answers to some of the most common questions where people wonder. Is it possible? Can you actually cry blood? Is it possible to catch up on sleep? 5. Is it possible to change your eye color? Have you ever wished you could change your eye color? Then you may be in luck. That is, if you have brown eyes, and you wish them to be blue. A company called Stroma Medical has developed a procedure to turn brown eyes permanently blue. This may seem like an oddly specific procedure, but there is an explanation for all of it. To begin with, blue eyes are the most sought after in the world. Despite only 17% of the population of the world having blue eyes, many people consider them to most attractive eye color, and prize them above all. The procedure only works to turn brown eyes blue, because of the strange way it works. Essentially every brown eye has the potential to be a blue eye, it just comes down to how light enters and reflects off of it. In a brown eye, there is a brown melanin pigment that ensures the eye will be seen as brown. The procedure designed by Stroma Medical uses very low power lasers in order to disperse the brown pigment, dissolving it so it will eventually drain out of the eye and leave behind a permanently blue eye. However, clinical trials are not finished in the United States, so the procedure is not yet available here. Also, some ophthalmologists are concerned that since the pigment particles are only dissolved, and not removed, that there could be potential drainage issues that could lead to glaucoma over time. While Stroma Medical insists their procedure is perfectly safe, it will be several years before we know if it will pass the regulatory authorities in the United States of America. 4. Is it possible to improve memory? Some people complain that they do not have very good memories to start with. Perhaps they struggle with names, faces, dates or any number of other things. Many have wondered if there is a way to improve your memory over time, so you won't have these problems to such a degree anymore. The good news is that there are tricks to improve your memory in almost every way. Memory tricks are known as mnemonics and there are tricks for any type of learning style. Some memory tricks are better for those who learn visually, or by reading, or any other method. On top of that, you can not only teach yourself to be better at remembering things, but you can also permanently improve the power and functioning of your brain. Research has shown that due to something called neuroplasticity, our brains actually create new neural pathways and strengthen old ones when we make our brains work especially when we deliberately put them through mental exercises. If you use mnemonics to help you remember, you are not only improving your short-term memory, you are permanently increasing your brain power. 3. Is it possible to catch up on sleep? We've all been there at one point in our life or another. Whether it's a student trying to work a full-time job while studying full-time, a single parent working multiple jobs, or whatever the situation, Many Americans find themselves chronically deprived of sleep. To make matters worse, some people get into situations where they feel like they will never have a chance to properly catch up. For this reason, on the weekends, or when they find a moment, these people try to binge on sleep and catch up on all they have lost. The question becomes, is it even possible to catch up so quickly on lost sleep, and get ourselves back to a state of natural equilibrium? Unfortunately, the answer is a little complicated, and like many things involving your health, if you want to make a difference, you will have to make a change to your long-term habits. Scientists who study sleep have advised that trying to binge on a bunch of sleep at once, or on the weekend, is not going to properly catch you up. Rather, the best way to catch up on sleep is to add a little more sleep per night, every night until your body starts to recover and you start to realize you need to sleep less. Eventually you can repay your sleep debt, 
and go back to sleeping a regular amount of hours every night, too. Is it possible to cry blood? We have seen it in horror movies, and it haunts many of our imaginings in the darkest hours of the night. Can people actually be in such bad straits that they can actually cry tears of blood? The answers is yes, however, it is generally nothing at all to actually be alarmed about, despite the fact that blood is literally pouring out of someone's eyes. The condition is known as hemolacria and has been reported as far back as the 16th century, where doctors first noted the condition in young women who were menstruating. In general, studies have shown that most of the time, people who have hemolacria are menstruating women, and it usually goes away after a period of time. It also tends to exhibit itself less in people as they get older and older, and mostly starts affecting people when they are young. However, while doctors believe most cases are caused by hormones due to menstruation, men can also get the condition, and sometimes there is no explanation at all. In several cases in the last few years, there has been no explanation doctors can come up with, and several of these cases occurred in Tennessee. No one has yet figured out why Tennessee has been such a hot spot for unexplained cases of hemolacria, perhaps it is something in the water. 1. Is it possible to drink too much water? Speaking of water, one of the most common things that people ask when they are feeling particularly curious is, apart from drowning, can you actually have too much water? When most people ask this they think they are joking, and most consider it to be a very, very silly question. Very few people Google this with any kind of serious expectation of danger or they think you would have to have an incredible amount of water that most people couldn't manage to consume in a short enough amount of time to be dangerous. However, while most people dismiss this as nonsense, it is actually quite easy to have too much water, and make yourself sick or even die. Especially during the summer, or even if you perform a lot of strenuous activity the rest of the year, guzzling too much water can put you in danger. The problem is that when you are active and hot, you sweat and you lose salt. When you lose too much salt while already drinking water you lose salt even more rapidly. This loss of electrolytes can lead to seizures and even brain death, so it is best to drink sports drinks, and eat foods that keep up your electrolyte balance. Throw, 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 throw it up. Start working like Miley.